Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most uninspired and disappointing animated films released by DreamWorks. We're not saying all these movies are bad, but rather that they pale in comparison to the studio's classics. Stop acting like a baby! You're a baby! <gasps> Number 10, B-Movie. It's obvious that one of the biggest highlights in Jerry Seinfeld's career was his namesake sitcom, Seinfeld. Inversely, one of the most bizarre points in his career was DreamWorks' 2007 animated film, B-Movie. Is that a, a bee joke? Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that we do. While it boasts some impressive animation and a hilarious ensemble of voice actors, the narrative is incredibly confusing. It doesn't know if it wants to be a romantic comedy, a fish-out-of-water story, or a courtroom drama, so it tries to be all of them at once, with underwhelming results. Vanessa, we won! Yay! I knew you could do it! High five! Oh, sorry! As a result, B-Movie fell under the radar for several years, but more recently has gained a cult following thanks to meme culture poking fun at its absurdness. No wonder we're not supposed to talk to them. They're out of their minds. Number 9. Trolls World Tour The first Trolls film managed to turn the iconic dolls into a sparkly musical adventure that was pretty to look at, but felt a little too sugary for some. Can the sequel Trolls World Tour hit a higher note than the original? Well, it's clear they stepped up the animation, and the story had a lot of neat ideas for world building. Some of them can't even begin to grasp the concept of hammer time. <laughs> However, all that glitters is not gold, as that world building is underutilized, and the story is reduced to a paint by numbers, repetitive quest film. Weird, right? There is, admittedly, an attempt to discuss the dangers of prejudice in a way that's more easily digestible for kids, but beyond that, it feels like a padded out music video more than anything else. A world where everyone looks the same and sounds the same? That's not harmony! Number 8, Turbo. How do you manage to create a film that is both cliched and unique? We're not sure either, but DreamWorks figured it out when they made Turbo. Are you a car? No! Then stop driving like one! The concept is essentially the Fast and the Furious, but with snails, where the titular Turbo gains super speed in a freak accident and zooms off to achieve his dream of being a racing champion. It's harmless overall, with plenty of color, great voice acting, and humor to spare, but it felt rather basic compared to the company's other notable hits, which ultimately left it underperforming at the box office. I'll be fine. You are delusional. It did, however, manage to gain its own Netflix show, which produced new episodes from 2013 to 2016. Number 7. The Boss Baby Whether we like it or not, The Boss Baby made bank at the box office. But despite its financial success, critics and viewers felt very bankrupt with this film. Who are you? Let's just say I'm the boss. Can you blame them? It's a weak story that tries to dress itself up as a masterpiece by putting a baby in an executive suit and making him a secret agent. Beyond the initial, oh, that's cute reaction, there isn't much else going on here. I failed. The voice acting is decent, and there are bits of good humor here and there, but all that is overshadowed by a dense narrative. Unfortunately, money talks, and The Boss Baby made enough to guarantee a whole franchise, including two Netflix series and a sequel. Don't worry, we'll get to that one later. What? <laughs> Number 6. Home. Based on the kids' book, The True Meaning of Smek Day, Home features the budding friendship between teenage Tip and alien outcast O as they journey across the universe to find Tip's mom. Ha! <laughs> what if I could fix that? <laughs> The animation and character designs are nicely handled. The emotional moments do their job, and Jim Parsons and Rihanna's voices complement each other well. Captain Smek has decided. Captain Smek is an idiot. <gasps> Un With that said, the narrative is painfully predictable, and the humor is a far cry from some of DreamWorks' best. While many of the studio's movies gear to all audiences, this one is definitely for the kids and the kids alone. It also has a Netflix series, which is starting to seem like a DreamWorks requirement lately. 
Number 5. Spirit Untamed The original Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron is considered an underrated gem in DreamWorks' library. The gorgeous animation and down-to-earth story are all complemented by an ingenious way to understand the titular stallion with limited dialogue. However, no one expected this overlooked classic to get a Netflix series several years later, or a sequel even further down the line. His name is… Spirit. While the CGI in Spirit Untamed isn't too bad, it has no connection to the original, very unoriginal character and story cliches, and really boils down to just another quirky girl and her horse story. All right, so that's how it's gonna be. While horse lovers might enjoy Untamed, fans of Stallion of the Cimarron will agree that the original was better off as its own standalone entity. Well, Spirit. I guess it's time for me to go. Number 4. The Boss Baby – Family Business Remember we said how bad The Boss Baby was? Would you believe the sequel was downright forgettable? Taking place years after the original film, Family Business sees the now grown-up brother duo teaming up again with a new Boss Baby to save childhoods from being erased. Baby Core wants to get the team back together, huh? No, I think that's a terrible idea. It steps up a little in terms of social satire and delivering a heartwarming message from the original, but it's more of the same and suffers too much from its sequel-itis. It's another generic way to distract the kids without being anything of substance. Now, aren't you a cutie in that little karate outfit? What? The first film's success might see the franchise sticking around for a while, but if there was any steam to lose in the first place, we'd say it's certainly headed that way. I quit! What a bunch of diaper sniffers! <laughs> Number 3. Sinbad, Legend of the Seven Seas you may look back on DreamWorks gems such as The Prince of Egypt and ask why the company doesn't do traditionally animated films anymore. Unfortunately, their last one, Sinbad, Legend of the Seven Seas, played a role in that. Sinbad, <laughs> you did it. It was an ambitious project with a lot of pressure to live up to, an all-star cast with names like Brad Pitt and Michelle Pfeiffer, and an epic quest combining both traditional and CG animation up to the stakes. While viewers nowadays look back at this as an underrated gem, critics were a tad more scrutinizing, citing a less-than-thrilling narrative and a lackluster conclusion. Sadly, the box office sealed Sinbad's fate, and the company abandoned traditional animation in favor of its notable CGI films. Thank you! You're welcome! No problem! Don't worry about it! I won't! Good! Goodbye! Bye to you! Number 2. Shrek the Third Undeniably DreamWorks' biggest cash cow is the Shrek franchise. Maybe you should just stay and be king. Oh, come on. There's no way I could ever run a kingdom. Can you blame them? The first film hilariously challenged the fairy tale standards, and the second one is considered just as inventive. And yet, by Shrek the Third, it's become obvious that the series' magic had run out. <laughs> It has plenty of pop culture references and a talented cast, but the humor falls flat, the tension feels watered down, and the heart that was plain to see in the first two installments feels absent. While the follow-up, Shrek Forever After, is considered a mild improvement, the damage was already done by then, and another powerhouse movie series fell victim to franchise fatigue, at least until the Puss in Boots spin-offs shook things up. He's not exactly king material. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Shark Tale Do you want to take your youngster to a mafia film even though they probably won't get literally any of the jokes? Then Shark Tale may be the perfect flick for you. Huh? What's so fun? Ow. You got nothing! NOTHING! It boasts a fantastic ensemble cast with the likes of Will Smith, Jack Black, and Robert De Niro. However, none could compensate for a noisy script that can't figure out its target audience, a heavy reliance on pop culture humor, and rather unflattering Italian-American stereotypes. Thank you. Thank you. Surprisingly, this confusing little fish swam well at the box office. 
but it still ended belly up with the critics, showing once again that just because a film makes bank doesn't make it good. Don't get me wrong, you're cute. You're a nobody. What do you think was DreamWorks' lowest point? Let us know in the comments. You catch on real fast, kid. Maybe you're not as big of a loser as I thought. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.